I just want to give you guys a like total picture of what's been going on for the last week since I've cut my locks off completely gone big chop bow hey hey guys what's up I'm Chanel welcome back to my channel I wanted to give you guys an update on my big chop it's been almost a week I think it'll be a week tomorrow since I cut my hair yeah I'm loving it I'm feeling much better it took a little bit of getting used to my hair being so short but I did a little twist out I posted a reel um, showing a kind of a I don't know if it it was definitely not a tutorial but just kind of a before and after of like my twist out and then what it looks like when I pick it out and this is now the second day since I did release my twist I like this little chunky twist out look on my 4c hair this area in my hair that I was telling you was hurting so bad which is most of the reason why I had to get rid of my locks it's not hurting so bad anymore i still feel like it still can use some healing um before i can start to do like protective styles and like braids or like wigs or anything like that because well i may be able to do wigs depending on what kind i'll show you guys what i used in my hair to to achieve these results okay i have all the products I did not use all of these products to do my hair, but I just want to give you guys a like total picture of what's been going on for the last week since I've cut my locks off. Completely gone. Big chop. Bow. So, anyway, <laughs> as you know, well, I'm not even going to say as you know cuz you probably don't know. This might be your first video on my channel. Who knows if it is subscribe like come on just support your girl like go ahead and hit the subscribe button like this video bam okay that's done um the first night that I cut my hair I used these products to wash with I used the the raw sugar scalp restore it's a clarifying shampoo so I used that the first day um, I wanted to remove any buildup from my hair, which this does. It has, it says that it removes buildup, excess oils and pollutants. And say hello to healthy, full, free, flake free hair. It has activated charcoal, tea tree, and moringa oil. I really like this shampoo. I use this in my locks as well. So. If you follow my lock journey, you know that I use that shampoo. Sorry, guys, if you hear a lot of noise. So, yeah, I used that. And then I forgot to bring it, but I think I used the Aussie Moist Conditioner. I mean, moisturizing shampoo after that because I like to follow up a clarifying shampoo with a moisturizing shampoo to kind of put that moisture back into my hair. And then after that, I went in with the Tea Tree Tingle trader dose conditioner that i used with my locks as well all three of those products i used with my locks and so that's what i started with they all left my hair feeling nice and i wouldn't say moisturized but definitely cleansed and um defined like my coils were defined I washed it and then I got I got happy because my time during my lock journey I was not able to wash my hair like I'm used to washing it like I like to wash my hair a lot and so now that it's short I just felt like I could wash my hair every day if I want so I literally washed my hair the next day I went to Ulta and I bought the this um kit it's the Curl Smith moisturizing recipe line. And so I wanted to, like I said, my hair was not feeling that moisturized. So I wanted to get some products that I felt like would leave some moisture in my hair. So this is a curl, uh, curl quenching conditioning wash. So I guess it's kind of like a, it's a cleansing conditioner. So like a co-wash kind of. So I felt like since... I wanted to wash my hair again and I really didn't need to. This will be good for that. 
Um, and this says that it's gentle enough to use daily. And you apply a generous amount of the foamless co-wash, yeah, it's a co-wash, into wet hair and massage and smooth through the ends leave on for three minutes and rinse so you could actually you could actually detangle your hair with that i will say that it was fairly easy to do detangle my hair with that end now my felicia leatherwood brush that i love so much when i was natural before i can't find it anywhere and it's driving me crazy i might have to just repurchase it even though i know it's around here somewhere I need it now and I can't find it. So I may just repurchase it. Couldn't hurt to have two of them. Like I really, really like it. And I'll have everything linked in the description box in case you wanna check out any of these products. Okay, so I washed my hair with the conditioning wash. And then this one is a curl reactivator. You can use it like before your style or you can use it as like a, um, it says you can, Use it to refresh your style or rehydrate between washes. You spray it onto dry hair, or you can use it as a leave-in conditioner. So I think what I did is I just sprayed it all over after washing with the conditioning wash. And then I just went in with this curl defining souffle. It says, it says to use a, on soaking wet hair, take a dime size amount per section. It doesn't say how many sections. And it says rub between your palms, smooth down the length of your hair using the praying hands method. I don't have enough hair for the praying hands method. And then it says scrunch gently upwards, then air dry or diffuse. When fully dry, scrunch it again to break the cast. Now, I must say that I really love that gel um i love the ingredients that are in it it made my hair extremely soft to touch but it left a whole lot of flakes in my hair and i'm still gonna give it another try because i feel like i may have used too much of it i know i used too much of it it says a dime size amount for each section and i probably had way too many sections just because my hair is so short so yeah, I'll probably use way too much. And so that's why it's flaky. I will give you guys an update on how it works the next time I use it, if I try it in a different way. I was trying to achieve a wash and go, which it kind of did. Like it gave me like a defined, like curly afro, but I didn't like the flakes. So I have to figure that part out another time. Um, but yeah, I liked the way it made my hair feel. Um, so what happened is I ended up having to wash it out again the next day. So at this point, I've washed my hair three days in a row. I used this again, the conditioning co-wash, to rinse that stuff out of my hair. Then what I did is I had this left in my um, cabinet because I used this on my son's hair. It's the shea moisture kids coconut hibiscus curling buttercream it has slippery elm and marshmallow extract extracts anti-frizz body and shine thick wavy unruly hair whatever so what i did is i and i'll insert my um reel here so you guys can see like the size of the sections that i used but i just did like a chunky twist out on my hair and I use this to to kind of keep it hydrated while I was going along because after I wash my hair once you take it out of the towel it dries fairly quickly without any product in it so I just use this to rehydrate and then I apply like a small little like not even a dime size amount per section of this and this is how my hair looks the not the next day, but the day after. So I have not reapplied anything today. I haven't sprayed it at all. I haven't like hydrated my hair at all. I literally just took my scarf off and I left it out. And this is what it looks like. I really like it. I will say that it does not feel as moisturized as it did when I used this stuff. So I'm looking for this type of de definition but this type of moisture so 
if you guys have any suggestions for products or techniques for me to use in order to achieve, to achieve that, then let me know in the comments. Um, tomorrow will be a week since I big chop my hair. I'm excited to try new things. Let me know if you guys think, like how long do you think I should wait before I start to protective style my hair? I've been feeling this little fro actually, but I do wanna grow my hair back. So I'm gonna protective style it because I know for a fact that is what works for my hair. Like leaving it in twists preferably under a wig that works for my hair it allows my hair to stay put away and it allows me access to my hair in, in order to hydrate it on a daily basis because that is what you need to do in order to retain length oh and i i forgot to mention that when i was doing my twist i didn't use any tools like i said i couldn't find my felicia leatherwood brush and i didn't want to use any other type of tools like I didn't feel like it was necessary so I just basically like finger detangled along the way with this and that worked pretty well let me know if you guys have any questions what else you want to see me do like I've been thinking about doing hair paint wax because I wanted to try it with my locks but I was scared of build up and so now that my hair is free I would like to try it let me know if you guys know of any good brands that will actually moisturize my hair or I don't know just let me know what you guys want to see and I'm gonna get out of here I'll see you guys in my next video bye